Yes! It's Earthworm Jim blasting his arch enemies! Be here when Fox Kids heads for the hills next Saturday. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel for a vlog review kind of thing. Um, a lot of questions about the G-Racing shifter and that is what we're going to be covering today. I'm going to try to keep it short, not a super in-depth review because there's not really a ton to like dive into when it comes to a, a single product like the short shifter. So just to get you guys up to speed, this is a 5-speed shifter, a uh, 5-speed transmission for my NC and I have a NB Miata shifter in the car and it, it works fine it shifts it does everything it's supposed to the real magic here is the throw of the shifter the weight and the feel which is something that I've absolutely loved driving um, taking it out whatever you know going to the grocery store or taking it out for a fun run it performs perfect every time I love the feel and that's what we're gonna dive into today I'm gonna tell you a couple pros and cons so you can make the choice on your own if you decide to pick up a G racing shifter why I chose to go with a short shifter for this car. Now, in the NC Miata, I've driven a six-speed, driven the five-speed, obviously, because that's what I have. The shifter in the car is honestly perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. If you're daily driving it, if you're tracking it, it's perfect. It's a really, really good shifter. And a lot of people, you know, wondered why I did it. Why do you change it out? Because with every modification you do for a car, it's supposed to make it better. Um, with this short shifter, I would say it makes it better if you're driving it really aggressively, but for what I wanted was I really love a notchy, harder, you got to put some effort into shifting the car, and that's exactly what this does. The throws on this are a lot shorter than the stock, not by a ton, but it's definitely noticeable. You get a little bit more click into gear when you're shifting through and it just feels really nice. It feels like you're driving a race car, essentially. And I'm not saying that this is a race car or anything, but I like to feel that way while being comfortable. That's why I like to have springs or coilovers on my cars. I like to have them a little bit louder. It's just as a car guy, that's my preference. And I chose to get this shifter because I just love the notchy short throw shifter kits that they have. There's not many for the Miata, but this one definitely hits all those marks for me. So I really can't complain about the price. I mean. At this point, it's been totally worth it, and I, I've loved every bit of it. The quality of this shifter is really amazing. It's all, I think it's aluminum, so it's all aluminum. You don't have to mess with any of those shifter bushings because the ball on the bottom is a little bit larger. And the feel of the metal shift knob in your hand, it just feels like you're really shifting gears. It really feels like you're driving the car a little bit more than you did before with the stock shifter. So I'll start with the pros because really I value the pros of this. I'm really happy with it. So I value the pros a little bit higher than the cons. So we'll start with the pros for this. The pros are you get a heavier weighted shifter that really feels connected to the transmission, more so than changing the shifter bushing or anything like that. It really feels like you are in the transmission. It doesn't shake at all, it doesn't vibrate. You touch it and you feel the powertrain of the car. And I really, really enjoy that. I do like the little bit higher of a shifter. It's nice when you have cups in the cup holder because I do go on a lot of like coffee runs and things like that. I don't have to like crab claw it anymore. I can just hold my arm up, it's over the cups, I can shift just fine, and I can go about my day without having to change the way I'm driving just because I have some cups in the cup holder. And the throw on this is absolutely amazing. I mean, you guys saw in the little B-roll clip I had earlier, but I mean, it's like so direct and so easy um, you do have to put a little bit of muscle behind it, but I mean easy by like, 
it's just so smooth to pull it and it goes into gear. I haven't missed a gear since driving the car. Um, I used to miss gears a little bit at times with the stock shifter, but with this one, I, it's it's all but gone. It's I mean I mean if I'm in third I'm in third I'm going to fourth fourth no problem. It is a lovely feel for shifting the car. So now we'll just go into the cons. So there are cons with every modification. When you modify a car, there's trade-offs. Um, that's just the way it is. If you put on coilovers, your ride gets stiffer, but you get a little bit more turning capabilities and the body roll is lessened. So there's pros and cons with everything, and there are certainly cons with the shifter. Most of these sort of cons, I guess, would be if you're daily driving the car. If your Miata is a daily driver, you know, I think you could probably pass on getting this. If you are daily driving your Miata and you actively track it, then yeah, go ahead and pick this up because I think it's worth it. But the cons to this are that you do get a little bit more interior noise. It's just the way it is because it is like hard mounted into the transmission. And I have found that at a little bit lower RPMs, speeding up or slowing down, I do get a tiny bit of vibration and it makes a little bit of a buzzing noise. Something that most people probably wouldn't notice, but a lot of things in my car vibrate already, so it's not a big deal to me. But if you're daily driving it and you don't have an exhaust or anything and you're trying to keep those you know, interior noises and you want the creature comforts and everything, you might think twice about getting it just for the sole fact that it vibrates and it buzzes. One other thing for mine, and, and this just might be the transmission, um, but I, and I can't really, I can't really answer for it because I don't know for sure if it would do this on other cars or not, but it's a little bit harder to get into fifth. I don't drive in fifth too often, especially just going around town, but once you're on the highway, you can't shift as fast into fifth. I don't know if that's a knock on the shifter, but it it's something to consider that fifth is a little tough to get into. And I don't know why, I'll have to do a little bit more research on it. It goes, it goes into gear fine, just sometimes it's hard to like push it over and get it into fifth. And, and I mean, it's not a huge deal, but it's worth considering if you're debating on getting this shifter or not. So just something to think about. But believe it or not, those are really the only two gripes I have with the shifter. Can't complain about the price. It's a really affordable price. I like the way it looks. I guess one more thing, if you don't like these uh, shift knobs, they do come with, you can choose a different one. They, they uh, manufacture different shift knobs that you can put on the top of their shifters because it's a really big thread. So like I couldn't fit any standard shift knob on it. So I don't know if there's like an adapter that you can buy or not, but I like the way this looks. This pretty much looks like my Tomei shifter, except it's metal instead of plastic. So if you have a shift knob that you are absolutely in love with, you probably will have to give it up this does remove, you can remove the shift knob, but the thread pitch and the thread size is way different than anything that you could just buy off the shelf and throw on. At least that I know of. Maybe you can buy shift, shift knobs that have like a really bit wider uh, opening and thread, but I don't know of any, so I can't speak on that. So cons total, you gain vibration and noise. It's a little hard to get into fifth and you can't change your shift knobs. But other than that, I absolutely love it. It's been so fun to drive the car. It makes shifting so much more fun, and more direct. Is it better than your stock shifter? Yes and no. It's the same kind of quality that you'd expect to drive the car, but it's really up to the individual. I love it. You might not like it. It's very possible. I mean, some people don't like coilovers and that's totally fair, but I very much enjoy the shifter. I can't speak highly enough of it for me. I have yet to take it to any like track racing or anything, but I have driven the car hard and it's really, it's really a joy. I don't miss gears. It shifts really, really quickly. I haven't tried like flat foot shifting with it or anything like that. Cause I'm not a huge fan of the flat foot shifting. It's a, it's a little aggressive, believe it or not. Like it's sometimes when I do it, it's like you're drag racing, but you're not drag racing. So I don't really use it for that too often. Driving around town with it, it's been fine. If you're driving slow, you can shift it slow, but when you're ready to shift fast and you really wanna punch it into gear, it definitely lets you do that. The G Racing Shifter definitely lets you punch it into gear. It takes it and you're on your way. Just makes that bit of letting off the gas and shifting, just makes it more fun and, and I enjoy it. 
And I will say that since I've been driving with it, it's kind of worked itself in a little bit to where when I first got it, it was pretty notchy. It was a lot harder to ship. Not that I was like concerned enough to take it apart and return it, but now that I've been driving with it more, it definitely um, feels a lot more smooth. So you kind of work it in, you work it around how fast you're shifting and things like that. And all in all, I, I really do love this shifter. With the steering wheel, the seat, and the shifter, these three things are what I'm feeling in the car. And now that I can feel everything, it just, it just is really nice. So thanks so much for checking out this video, guys. Uh, I know it was a little bit shorter, not a ton going on in this, but I just wanted to take a minute to do a little review on the shifter because I know a lot of people have asked about it. Some people were like, you ruined the best shifting experience ever, which I would argue that every day of the week. Um, and some people were really curious to pick one up. So I hope this video helped um, you make a choice on whether or not you might want a shifter for your car. Um, one other thing, I guess, just to note now that I'm looking at it, I did have to modify the shift boot. So if you have like a really nice shift boot, maybe put your old one on because you're going to have to like cut the top to get it to fit. But that's just cosmetic stuff. And I think it looks fine. It's a little bunched up on the top, but it's really not that big of a deal. We'll do some more product reviews as time goes on. So stick around for that. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you go down below, hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, leave your comments, and I will see you in the next video.